bunch of pancakes before, so I'm really excited to see how these turn out. This is a very indulgent lunch, but sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Oh my goodness. I genuinely think this is one of the best things that I've ever made. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Melbourne Diaries. I'm really excited to be filming this week as I haven't really filmed Melbourne Diaries now for a few weeks since I was in Japan and it is just like nice to be home and get back into a bit of a rhythm with everything. So looking forward to sharing that with you guys. The weather since I've gotten back has not been very good. It's been raining heaps and just been like kind of cold. So my seasonal depression has definitely started to kick in, which we love. But the best thing for me when I'm feeling kind of down with the weather is to put on a really cute outfit, try and get re-inspired by my winter wardrobe and just go and do a couple of Melbourne things that I know make me happy and just kind of get me out of my funk. I'm gonna go and grab myself a smoothie from my favorite smoothie place in Melbourne. Then after that, I've actually got a laser appointment. I also just got these new glasses, which I kind of love and I don't know if I should wear them today or not. They're from Gentle Monster and I will leave them linked down below. So this is my outfit today. I've gone with my Dear Francis boots. Jeans are from the brand Base. I love how like oversized these are and they are pretty baggy on the waist, but with a belt, they honestly fit perfect. The belt is from The Lair. Little Baby Tea is from Uniqlo. This cardigan is from And Other Stories. I've had it for a few years now, so I don't think this exact one would be available, but I'll try and link something similar. And my bag is from Brie Leon. I think that's how you say it, but either way, it'll be linked down below. Anyways, let's go. Just got the mango and passion fruit smoothie, but honestly, all the smoothies and acai bowls from Lover Bowl are incredible. I come here probably like four or five times a week and it's just so good. It is definitely way too cold for a smoothie right now, but I just don't even care. The laser was really good and also really painless. The thing with Acme Beauty, which is very different to any other place that I've been to for laser hair removal, is that you can actually have fake tan on your skin or you can have like a natural tan or literally anything and you can still get treated, which is so amazing because I've just found that in the past, every time I get laser, it's really annoying having to make sure that I've got absolutely no fake tan on my skin or no fragrances or blah, blah, blah. And it actually becomes really hard to keep up with your laser treatments and just like go there frequently. So the fact that Acme Beauty actually allows you to have all of that on your skin and still get laser is really amazing. I will definitely be returning to Acme Beauty for my follow-up maintenance laser hair removal treatments. Happy Saturday! It is my brother's birthday today actually so I'm gonna head out for lunch now with him and his girlfriend to celebrate and I also wanted to really check on my herbs. I decided to pot some rosemary now because the mint just was not cooperating. I think maybe because the temperature has definitely dropped quite a bit in Melbourne recently so I think maybe mint and cold weather I don't know if they don't go so well but the rosemary so far is going quite well I'm going to show you guys where we're at with our little herb garden because it has been a while between updates so this is the rosemary that I just potted the thyme is going really well still basil is kind of on its way out but I know that basil doesn't really grow in winter so that's probably why coriander still kicking pretty well and I did pot this chili plant probably two months ago now so far, I haven't seen any chilies. I know chilies are not going to grow in winter as well, so. Hello, welcome back to the vlog, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Good morning, I'm just getting ready for the day and I've had a few questions recently about if I can share an updated makeup routine so I thought I would just do that with you guys now. I always start with my eye makeup and I like to curl my eyelashes just because I find they are pretty straight otherwise and the mascara just doesn't really apply as well unless they're curled. The mascara that I use is from Maybelline and it is the Lash Sensational. I really love this one because it's not too expensive and I really don't think you need a super expensive mascara. 
especially given I do go through them quite quickly. I would next typically use a primer, but I've actually added at the moment, and the one that I use is from Giorgio Armani, or the Hourglass Veil Primer is also my favorite. Given I do not have any primer at my house at the moment, I'm just gonna go in with my foundation, and this is the NARS Sheer Glow. I use Light 5, and I find this works pretty much all year round. There are some points in the year where it is a little bit too light for my skin, just during summer, but mostly it is completely fine, and I like to just apply it with my hands. I just think I can get a better application than using a brush or a beauty blender. From here, I'll use a bronzer, and I like the NARS Matte Laguna. I've been using this exact same bronzer for so many years now, but I really think it just does a great job. I'm going to add a little bit of blush. This is the Laura Mercier in Bellini. I just love this tone, and again, I think it pairs really well with the bronzer that I use. For my eyebrows, I like to use the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. I do like to set my makeup with a little bit of translucent powder just because I have a naturally really oily complexion, and I find this does keep my makeup looking fresh for a little bit longer, but I do still need to touch up a little bit during the day typically. For my setting powder, I use Too Faced Born This Way. I just add a little bit through my cheeks and mostly my forehead, which is where I get the most greasy. At the moment, I've been using this lip pencil from MAC. It is in color Chestnut. And for an everyday look, I've been using MAC 540 lipstick, which I think pairs really nicely with the lip pencil. And there you go. That is my everyday makeup routine that I do most mornings. Hello guys, I'm going to a pizza making class today, which should be really fun. I've never really done anything like this before. I'm bringing Kat along for the experience. It is at a restaurant called Rocella in East Melbourne. So I tried to dress for the Italian countryside, as I thought that was sort of on brand for the day. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now it's on the bodyguard. Oh, okay. so you're gonna do like challenge the professional one that breaks the door. On my Mornington Peninsula. I almost dropped my pizza on the floor, but it did end up getting in the oven, I believe. So we'll see how it looks. Cat, yours looks so good. It was tasty. Nailed it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Not as good. good as cats, but that's all right. No, okay, mine's good. a little thick. Cheers. I'm actually in Sydney right now for Australian Fashion Week and there will be a Sydney Diaries coming at the end of this week but I wanted to really quickly jump on here before we ended this vlog just to say that if you are in Melbourne and more specifically Cremorne this Saturday definitely come and visit me at the Haiku pop-up which is happening at Lamana and Sons. I will leave all the information below but I'll be there from 9 till midday and we have created the most incredible Haiku Ice Matcha Lattes which I'm really excited for you guys to try so hopefully I will see lots of you then but otherwise that is all for this episode of Melbourne Diaries and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!